Let's move on now to another story we're tracking closely this morning, and that is the politics over NEET that's once again erupted in Tamil Nadu, this time over the government's plan of ensuring 7.5% quota for the economically weaker sections to study in government schools in the state. Now, the Tamil Nadu governor, Banwari Lal Purohit, has sought three to four weeks' time to essentially assess and approve the NEET quota bill. He said this in a letter to DMK chief N.K. Stalin. The opposition, however, led by Stalin, have announced that they, his party will stage a protest outside Raj Bhavan today, demanding that the governor act swiftly for the welfare of students. The DMK also targeted the EPS government, saying that the current government doesn't care about the students, and that's why they're not putting any pressure on the governor for his approval. In response, the AIA DMK has hit back at the DMK, saying that... Stalin is raising this issue for political gains and also highlighting that it was the DMK government who introduced NEET exams in Tamil Nadu. If passed in the stipulated time by the governor, the quota will help over 300 uh, government school students this academic year itself. And that's why the DMK is saying that the governor must pass this at the earliest. Akshya Nath is joining us live from Chennai with more details on this. Akshya, good morning. Once again, the focus is on the showdown over NEET uh, in the state of Tamil Nadu. Just give us a sense of what the governor has had to say about the fact that the opposition now is upping the ante. Why exactly has he sought for more time and is that something that the DMK uh, you know feels is justified well, good morning, Akshita. What we are seeing in the Tamil, uh, in the state of Tamil Nadu, is that there is a need issue that has come up once again. And uh, what Mr. Banwari Lal Purohit, the governor of Tamil Nadu, has said is that uh, he needs a three to four weeks time to go through the documents which has been submitted to him, the bill that is submitted to him, to assess it. He's already speaking to experts about it, and once he gets a complete picture of it, he said that he signed it. So he's required the three to four weeks for this assessment. But what the DM is stating is that the unanimous decision of passing this bill uh, in the uh, Tamil Nadu Assembly had happened uh, because of the intention that this has to be applicable in this particular year itself so that uh, students from Tamil Nadu who have been studying in government schools from 6th standard to 12th standard will be benefited out of it. Most of them will fall under the economically weaker sections of the society. Around 300 students uh, will get benefited is what uh, both the state government and the opposition had said uh, when the bill was passed. But at this point of time, the kind of delay which is caused will make uh, it a point where they will not be able to apply this uh, uh, reservation this year because, uh, you know, the counselling for medical seats will start... Uh, from the end of October and go on till uh, the mid of November. By then, uh, the time frame would have passed off and the government school students okay. will not be benefited out of it. And uh, today we're seeing that right. NK Stalin-led protest will happen outside the Raj Bhavan, which is the residence of governor. We'll be, we'll be tracking that very closely, that Akshaya, as you're team. pointing out. The DMK will be protesting outside Raj Bhavan and we'll be getting the latest on that for the moment. Thank you for joining us. Hello everyone, this is Rahul Kamal here. Hope you enjoyed this video. For the latest news and analysis, like and subscribe the India Today YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to stay updated.